I'll go to uh, to Dr. Ali Kamah in uh, in Casablanca with the HEM Business School that that I know has a very very had a very solid response with a, a very complete online system. Uh, Ali, can you tell us a little bit about how HEM implemented uh, the initiative and how they dealt with with this uh, sudden I guess situation, in, especially in Morocco with the complete lockdown. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Hanan. Uh, I, I gave a presentation to the Kale. I don't know if she yeah. can uh, put it uh, up there or I share it with you guys. She, she'll be able uh, to I cannot share. She, she needs to share it. Um, yes. Uh, the, share it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the, the response was actually uh, very swift and we were pretty much, uh, we, we didn't know about this. All this stuff happened uh, in, in a weekend, pretty much. Yeah. We, uh, we had a feeling, we were in a team building uh, activity somewhere in the, you know, in the middle of, of Morocco, somewhere in Azro. And then we uh, all listened to the speech of, of uh, Emmanuel Macron and we were like, okay, if something is going on, and we know that uh, in Africa, pretty much uh, we, we tend to follow, especially French-speaking uh, Africa, we tend to follow um, the, uh, the, the, the French in terms of uh, uh, decisions like this, right? So um, we uh, immediately started working on Saturday because Friday we finished with the team building and on Saturday we started working on, on alternative solutions. Uh, we didn't go uh, to, to the stay home um, you know, uh, decision until four or five days later because we needed to actually uh, put together an action plan and meet with all the, uh, the uh, permanent staff, meet with all the faculty staff. So the, the fact is, if you could go please uh, forward, uh, Dikel, the fact is uh, the decision um, w went down during the weekend and we needed to uh, decide uh, swiftly. So what we did is we uh, consulted with our um, uh, main uh, network, which is LCI Network in Canada. And we, were, we wanted to know we have a, you know, a business unit that is only doing um, uh, technology solutions for education, right? Mm -hmm. And we were like, okay, what are our op options here to keep the, the business running? And they said, we have a, a great solution for you. And that is, uh, you know, Adobe uh, Connect Pro. Mm -hmm. So you could put all your students on Adobe Connect Pro and it will be exactly like, I mean, as you can see in here, uh, if you see, uh, you know, it's, it was a very quick, uh, and it testifies a little bit on the agility and the educational rigor we have, uh, uh, you know, in, within our um, uh, DNA. Uh, HEM is set up in a record time, an online and distant real-time um, course system. I, I'm going to explain to you what is the meaning of an online and what is the meaning of distance real-time. Uh, and that's Adobe, and we had in, in, in a week's time, because the decision was made on the 13th, and then on the 23rd, we had 90% of all our courses given online, uh, I mean, in, in a distance real-time uh, matter, and on an online matter, okay? So the management team uh, is still remaining vigilant to how the situation will evolve. We don't know how this is going to end up. Uh, we're waiting on another decision on, on the 20th of April. Maybe this confinement or this stay home thing will probably be uh, again prolonged or reported to the month of May. So mm -hmm. we're already thinking ahead of time, ahead of the game proactively to see what are we going to do next. If you go next, please, uh, Dikel. So, uh, if you excuse me, Ali, I'm, I'm very interested in, in the in, in the solutions and the Adobe Pro Connected that you were speaking of. Did you have uh, did Ashram or LCE Education had a partnership with Adobe, or was it something that you bought to your license and you just did it up your own? I'm just trying to uh, to kind of no, we, our audience yes. how does it work. 
Thank you very much for the question. Very good question. Yes, the Adobe uh, Connect Pro is a license that we have already. See, that's what made it very, very easy for us. I mean, uh, that what uh, that's what made it uh, feasible because uh, if we had to go and look for uh, you know, licenses and look for uh, uh, authorizations from the ministry and stuff that would have taken us uh, forever. But uh, we just, we had everything in place, but we never used it in this amplitude, right? So right now, what you're looking at are the actions uh, or the measures that were taken, uh, whether it's a, a U, UG undergrad or postgraduate, uh, we identified two course categories. Like I said, real-time lectures, uh, classes are, are given virtually. Our faculty give their lectures to their students remotely through a web platform reserved for it, okay? Adobe Co Connect Pro. These sessions are taking place almost normally, but at a distance. The, the students have to, the, to, the duty to connect to the virtual classroom on time just like on a scheduled time, just like their, their usual planning to follow every session as scheduled in normal times. They can chat with the professor by virtually raising their hand. They can even ask the professor to uh, go to the restroom, you know, <laughs> just to give you an idea how, how, the, how the platform is so user friendly. You can actually, we, we are monitoring every student. We're dynamically interacting with every student. A, the modality of operation of these virtual classes was communicated to students beforehand. All concerned faculty members underwent dedicated training. And the HEM IT team uh, is supporting both students and faculty members uh, in there. The other, the other uh, uh, second point was actually online learning. Online learning is something we had seven years ago. Altisia would put together an online learning for I don't know, I, I lost my, my presentation, but- uh, I think Dikel is probably going back to it. Thank you, Dikel, if you can- Okay. Uh, the the uh, Altesia platform, uh, I'm, I'm giving you names so I can actually help the audience even go to these uh, addresses and see what they can do. Altesia platform gives us possibility to teach all our uh, uh, communication uh, courses through it. I mean, I'm talking about English, Spanish, uh, French, uh, and even Arabic, right? So with the uh, supervision of the faculty uh, uh, members we have, students have to actually log in to Altisha. We have a way of doing, uh, uh, you know, we have a way of, I don't know if this, are you still listening? We, yeah. we have the way actually of uh, 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 tracking them, tracking the number of time they, connect, they logged in, tracking how much time they're spent in there, tracking their results based on the exams that they're taking on the platform. So it's a good, it's, a, it's been a good solution for us for a long time, even before uh, it, was a, it was a support tool for us so that students who take classes uh, physically would actually uh, go online and complete their, their uh, uh, complement their learning on, on, in the platform. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was what we call physical, you know, it's physics, yeah. uh, physical and digital. So mm -hmm. it's physical. Uh, uh, a digital. I mean, it's digital. Now it's only digital, right? I'm, 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 Ali, I'm going to be the devil's advocate, and I'm going to ask you a question about the the real time lecture. So that means that the professors will have to sit for the lectures, and at the same time, having to deal with the real life uh, consequences, which is the, their kids at home, and having to deal with being in a situation. How did you deal? with the staff being in a situation where they have to do exactly the same amount of hours, if I'm understanding correctly, from 8 a.m. until, I don't know, 6, and having to deal with either the kids at home or having to cater to sick people for those who are in a more difficult situation. How did you deal with the staff or the management side of, of a situation like this? Okay. Uh, that, I mean, there are two, two kinds of staff. I mean, there is a permanent faculty, mm -hmm. and they only do two, 12 hours a week of okay. teaching right? So it's only three hours a day. At three hours, they need to lock up, lock out themselves. I mean, what you're saying is very, very true. Um, a lot of people are, 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 are having to deal with their kids and at the same time uh, be performant in their work. 
but for the for the teachers the, you know uh, and the and students we have no excuse we need to actually deliver mm -hmm. so uh the the courses are staying uh, on course there uh and what we're going to do when physical classes resume HCM will organize sessions in order to revise and crystallize the contents of virtual class sessions. Mm -hmm. okay. We want to make sure that these students, while they were uh, uh, learning, uh, on, uh, you know, in, in a different way, that they mm -hmm. got the, the learning. It's not all about teaching, it's about learning. They and, got and that, the learning necessary yeah. uh, uh, and they, that, that there's no, no student is left behind. Yeah. So that's, that's the idea. That's very important, and the I guess other, the other side uh, of of teletravail, we we call stay home uh, 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 and uh, working from home. That's something I'm gonna cover uh, right after this, very quickly. Uh, I just uh, I just want to share with you very quickly everything okay. so that uh, you know exactly what we're doing for the executive education. Uh, uh, Dikel, if you would please just uh, go back. Sorry, Ali, I'm trying to be first, so you have exactly three minutes left. Three minutes, that's good. <laughs> yes. That's good, that's good, that's good. If you go, Dikel, go next, please. Here, uh, education uh, for the executive education, we, we set up an, 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 a live um, uh, online, actually, um, uh, information desk, okay, where people are going to uh, attend some uh, live um, uh, conferences, they can that participate and they, they need, to, if they want to ask questions about our certificates and they can register online too. So uh, everything could be done online. So that, that's for, for the executive education. If you could go uh, forward, please, Dikel. 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 Uh, she's right here. She's, so, um, you know, I'm just, I just wanted to show you all the, uh, all the, uh, the different way, different things that, uh, that a school can do. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a, a virtual forum that we, uh, we, uh, we participated in last weekend. And it's exactly like a, a, a physical forum. You have uh, all the visitors, you get in touch with them, you send them messages, you call them, they call you, they, uh, you, keep, you keep their data and you can actually keep them as leads for, for later. So this is a, a, a great way again for schools to, um, you know, to, to seek alternatives, like great alternatives. If you could go forward, please. Uh, just to say goodbye to our friend from ACSB, Richard, who said uh, bye and wanted to thank the panelists and he has okay. it. No, no problem. So uh, we are doing live events and live conferences also online. Okay, and that's using Teams because the entire network of SCI and HCM are under Microsoft Office 365. And we have a very collaborative, very good collaborative tools uh, called Teams where mm -hmm. we can actually invite uh, up to a thousand uh, people mm -hmm. for a conference. If you Thank could go forward, please. Nikhil. Uh, the, we uh, digitize all the processes for international exchange programs. So instead of um, you know uh, students going to the office and putting the uh, their 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 applications and everything else, everything is now digitized. And as you can see, up to now we have 79 um, uh, applications of students mm -hmm. that, even though with the COVID and everything, they want to go on an exchange uh, next uh, next year, inshallah. The second. Well, Last, last one, uh, very okay. quickly, so that uh, so you can ask. Last one is this. This is showing actually our stay and work from home uh, for the permanent staff. So there is the, the the permanent faculty are doing their thing with the Adobe Adobe Acrobat, and we're doing our uh, our work uh, by using Teams, by using other other means of collaborative uh, work. And I'm done.